Hello, royal folks. It's good to see you all here again. This is your regular dose of royal news and analysis. But before we start, please subscribe to my channel and click the bell icon. Thanks. So now, today's piping hot controversy revolves around one seemingly innocuous question. Did Meghan Markle, Duchess of Unbridled Drama, actually carry and birth her firstborn son Archie herself? Or did she outsource that basic maternal function to a third-party oven? It's the wild surrogate theory that just won't stop gaining traction online. If you've been living under a rock, let me catch you up to speed. There's an entire constellation of vocal skeptics out there alleging all sorts of shady biological shenanigans around Archie's conception and delivery, from inconsistencies in Megan's supposed pregnancy timeline and belly progression, to bizarro photos fueling questions about her connection to the kid. This conspiracy has more twists and turns than a bag of crazy straws. In one of the more viral video compilations, the main argument for a surrogate birth goes a little something like this. Megan's bump appeared to almost completely disappear and reappear at random points, defying the natural slope of a normal full-term pregnancy progression. Almost like it was a fake body prosthetic being removed and reapplied between public appearances as needed. Hmm, sounds totally legit and not at all deranged. Then you've got those who zero in on specific photographs that seem to depict an uncomfortable-looking Archie being firmly staged and held in place on Megan's lap during meet and greets, as if their bond as biological mom and child was being artificially created for the cameras by staffers or assistants. Because you know, taking a candid family photo always has to be some sort of insidious conspiracy in the house of Markle. The video compilations really ratchet up the side-eye by highlighting Megan's seemingly superhuman physical abilities during her third trimester as well. Like our Duchess of Delusion going full Serena van der Woodson stunting around in sky-high stilettos at seven or eight months along. Most regular pregos can barely take a stroll to the mailbox at that point without wheezing. But hey, maybe Meg is actually just built like LL Cool G's rock-solid lady love interest from the Doin' It video. Total smoke show, even with that fake basketball stuffed under her dress. Then, after Archie arrived, conspiracy sleuths went apeshit over some pap shots where the freshly rebirthed royal mom appeared sans any visible bump or postpartum accessories, like breast pads. As if women's bodies don't just recotch it back to snatch status at wildly different rates after creating human life or anything. For the Suro spammers, it was all more proof they'd been right to question the pregnancy's authenticity all along. Of course, let's not forget the raging audacity of this whole theory in the first place. Like the absolute unmitigated gall, it takes to even half-jokingly accuse a new mother of Bukone her baby-baking responsibilities off to some rondo civilian gestational surrogate on the down-low. I know Megan is a divisive figure with a complicated relationship to the truth, but outright faking an entire pregnancy for clout, that's a Jussie Smollett-level commitment to the grift if true. Yet these scrumptious surrogate crumbs keep getting gobbled up by the online rumor mill without question. Just reading the YouTube comments descending into total madness with increasingly more elaborate anti-Megan fan fictions around how and why she would ever need to pull off such an outlandish deception is a wild ride. Some of these folks are convinced Harry's firstborn was hand-delivered by one of Oprah's employees or some shit. No joke too outrageous for the hate consumption machine. Now, putting my reasonable critical thinking hat on for a second, what's the actual likelihood Meghan went through such an absurd charade as using a surrogate to pass baby Archie off as her biological child? In a family institution like the British monarchy, with a literal line of succession protocol in place around hairs and bloodlines, it just doesn't track fam. The conspiracy crumbles under the weight of its own dumbassery when you consider the legal implications at play. Even if Meghan were somehow unethical and deranged enough to cook up a surrogate baby kidnapping heist of this magnitude, you really think the firm itself would just go along with falsifying one of their most precious hereditary claims to the crown? all for the sake of protecting Meghan's pride. I have a hard time buying that, no matter how disruptive and chaotic our Duchess of Deceit may be. For the palace protectors to willingly gaslight the line of succession and open up the entire institution to that level of embarrassing scandal down the road just doesn't seem plausible in the slightest to me. 
especially when they could have easily smoothed over some more palatable surrogate situation if biological children were truly off the table, risking a full-on delegitimization of the monarchy's future over some Megan puppet scheme to save face. I'm definitely not that red-pilled on those conspiracy Kool-Aid sippers. So in my opinion, as fun a pastime as it may be to dissect Megan's every cringe move through the most cynical lens possible online, the surrogate trutherism doesn't really hold up to scrutiny beyond just more bad faith hate dogpiling. As ever, convos around the Duchess quickly get hijacked by the most extreme detractors allergic to nuance who will buy into literally any damning rumor about her, no matter how s My advice? Enjoy the latest round of freaky mom denigration memes and gossip for the lols if you must. By all means, have it roasting the endless contradictions and attention-grubbing antics of one Meghan Markle. The girl practically begs for it with her overwhelming thirst for drama and moral hypocrisy at every turn. But maybe don't take the more unhinged rumors at face value this time around. Caping for Archie's basic human legitimacy is probably a good baseline boundary to uphold, even for the most ardent Megan truthers out there. The kid's done nothing wrong beyond being born into a life of chaos. No need to deprive him of his very personhood just for the sake of another internet hate campaign against his mom. At the end of the day, the royals are gonna royal. Megan and Harry are simply the new generation's human lightning rods for our standing and snarking obsessions alike. But we gotta keep some semblance of perspective when these salacious rumor cycles kick into high gear or risk becoming as outlandishly unhinged as the overly mythologized celebs we're tweeting hot takes about in the first place. So scrutinize away, detectives. Every family has their quirks, aberrations, and uncomfortable skeletons in the closet. The royals absolutely have more than their share, with or without easily packaged surrogate deceptions to explain what we think we see. Just don't lose your grips on reality altogether while indulging some thirst for even more petty scandal. Even the contentious Markles aren't that crazy, I hope. So, what do you guys think about this news, guys? Sounds off in the comment and let me know what you think. Stay tuned for more updates on the intriguing world of royalty. Until then, thanks for watching. We'll see you again with some more fascinating news about the royal family. Thank you.